What's poppin' guys? Back with another video. This one is going to be a Evolve Trader review of Mark Crook's Evolve Trader program. And um, so far I've been in the program since I think August of last year. So coming on to a year. And I'm just going to outline the program, talk about my experiences and do I recommend it. And just maybe give you some information if you're thinking about getting into that um that program. Well, it's more of a service. Just a brief introduction. Uh, Mark Crook, he's one of the earliest students of Tim Sykes and his trading history goes all the way back to 2010. So he's been in the game for a long time. And he's also one of Tim's most successful students. Um, he's a seven figure trader and currently over 2.5 million in verified profits. Now, last year, uh, when I just entered the program, he was he had crossed the mill line, but from going from one million to two million, he owed a lot of his success trading options. So, through trading options and getting a good handle of how they work, and pretty much applying the strategies that he learned in Tim Sykes' challenge, he eventually reached a point where he had a proven track record, and so he decided to start his own alert service, and that's how Evolve Trader was born. So, Evolve Trader is an options-based alert service that is primarily focused on large cap stocks where options are very liquid and spreads are very tight. The biggest difference between uh, the Tim Challenge and Evolve Trader is that Evolve Trader is an alert service, whereas uh, the Tim Challenge is uh, trader education. So with Evolve Trader, you are supposed to follow the alerts and follow the trades that Mark plays, whereas in the Tim Sykes Millionaire Challenge, he always tells you do not chase, do not enter when he's entering plays. Um, study his plays, but make your own entries and determine your own risk levels. But Mark has made this with the purpose of um, anyone, you know, from home being able to take take the alerts and apply it and make a passive income and pretty much build wealth on the side. And maybe even for some people, turn it into a primary income. So another big difference is that it's not nearly as in-depth as the Tim Challenge when it comes to the amount of content that's available on the website and just all the bases that are covered. And that's mainly because with Evolve Trader, you're paying about a third of what you pay with the Tim Challenge. And right now, the price list on the Evolve Trader website is 1997 US, which comes up to about 2,500 Canadian. And since I was part of the challenge, I got a discount. So I ended up paying less than 2000 Canadian dollars. So pretty much what you get when you pay for the Evolve Trader um, alert service are weekly webinars. So one webinar each week on Friday mornings. You also get access to periodic video lessons of uh, Mark reviewing uh, the plays he made, um, successful plays and sometimes even um, mistakes that he might have made. Um, when he was taking a trade, you also get access to a uh, boot camp, and the boot camp is meant to be a introduction when you first enter, and it's uh, an options boot camp that pretty much is ma made for anyone who might not have any no prior knowledge coming into this about options, where it goes over uh, everything to do with what options are about, buying, selling options, time premiums. And pretty much just kind of giving you a head start so that you know what you're getting into. If you already have knowledge of options, then this probably wouldn't apply to you. But for those who are worried that they may not have the mental fortitude to pay for their service, uh, it's two hours and it's enough time to understand what options is. He doesn't get um, too in-depth. He doesn't really get into very complex options trading strategies that you might come across online, like when, you, when you're trading the spread, like iron condors and, and things like that. He keeps it very simple, and his uh, strategies are pretty much based on the framework that Tim has made in the Tim Challenge, and it's just using uh, call and put options. You also get access to Penny Stocking Framework, which is a Tim Sykes DVD. So... If you watch any of my previous videos, the one where I reviewed the Tim Sykes challenge, um, that is a pretty significant video. And I credit that with being like one of the biggest pieces of content in the Tim challenge that has propelled my trading going forward. So you get that included for free in the program. 
and then you also get uh, SMS alerts, which are very important because you're going to want to have real-time updates when Mark is taking the trades so that you know you could time your, your entries accordingly. Now, the biggest drawbacks are that this is not for day trading. So if you are looking to enter this service thinking that you're going to have so many opportunities, it's nothing like that, nothing like the Tim Challenge where you're learning a strategy that you could possibly take every day. With uh, Evolve Trader, it's meant for two to four alerts a month, so two to four trades a month. And we were actually spoiled from like, uh, October, November, all the way going into February because there was just so much happening in the market that every week there was like one or two opportunities. Right now, it's been very dry. The market, after the market uh, pulled back in March, uh, the alerts also started to slow down. And for the past couple of weeks, there's maybe been uh, one or two. So be prepared for, for it to be very cyclical in nature where Sometimes for during a three to four month period, you might have more than three alerts in a month. And then sometimes in a three to four month period, you might have at most three to four alerts. For some people who are interested in a chat room, another drawback for you might be that there is no chat room. For me personally, I'm okay with that because chat rooms can tend to clog things up. And seeing as Evolve Traders an alerts based service, it's not really necessary Whereas with the Tim challenge, you need the chat room because the challenge is like an educational based program and it's a full program where you get, the, you get the education by seeing what other traders are doing on a daily basis and also it's meant to help you on a daily basis with your trades. Whereas Evolve Trader is more of a passive strategy that you're, that you're just studying from Mark who is giving you the alerts to take. So when you have an alert service where someone is just giving you the alerts, it's pretty simple and it might as well just leave it at that. Another drawback, and I'd say this is the biggest drawback for me, is the overall lack of video lessons. So as of now, there's less than 30 video lessons and the program has been around since like June of last year. And... The video lessons, the frequency is pretty much based on when Mark is taking like really big, like important trades. Like let's say Tesla has like a huge, big first red day and he takes puts on that or like um, you're, you're going for extended stock like GME, you're going for puts on that and it might be, it might warrant a video for him to talk about because there's so much happening. And then like I said earlier, because things are cyclical, um, you'll have dry periods. So he'll have a couple of those videos for those big trades and then you'll go weeks, months without a video. And I do think that he could put more video content. Uh, I think that during dry periods that instead of just doing like the trade reviews of like really big successful trades or even like the lose some, maybe if he has like a losing trade, he might show like where he went wrong with his thought process. He could just during the dry periods, uh, focus on educational videos where he's uh, going more in depth about his strategy and why he's doing what he's doing. I think this would help a lot with people and also just the fact that since you are paying uh, over a thousand bucks for it, almost two thousand, like it would definitely be a, a good selling point to have. Now, I can't necessarily knock him for the lack of video content because this is an alert service and not an educational program. But then again, like I said, like if you're going to pay that amount of money with all the amounts of like alert services and packages with alerts and educational videos, like there's just so much that's out there. So it's something to think about when you're considering uh, paying for this service. Another massive drawback, um, in my opinion, is the fact that the pricing that I said earlier is an annual price. So if you're seriously considering entering uh, this service, like you have to actually be applying yourself if you want to uh, make the money back. Like for example, like with the educational program, like with the Tim challenge, you're paying for so much more than you're not, you're not paying for alerts, you're paying for, 
if you're paying for so much video content, like so much strategies that you're learning that you could apply in the long term. Whereas with Evolve Trader, you're paying for alerts that are supposed to make you money. And this is not based on educational content where it makes sense to charge a premium when you're going to teach someone. This is just mostly focused on here's the trade, here's my entry, here's my exit. If you don't follow the entries and exits, then there's really not much else in the program for you to get your money's worth because you're just going to have that one weekly webinar. The boot camp, you're probably going to finish within the first week of joining the program. And then the video lessons are periodic. So you, at first, you could pr you'll probably take time to just kind of look at his entries and exits and maybe even take small size. But if you plan on being in this uh, program for the long term, you're going to need to keep in mind that you're going to be paying this yearly price. So you're going to eventually have to size up to a point where the profits from the trades are more than the costs that you're paying annually. And also remember that there is an infrequency with the amount of alerts that you get. So it will not be consistent. But like I said earlier, you also get the penny stocking framework. And the value of that is about $800 US, which amounts to over $1,000 Canadian. So I'd say in the first year, due to the fact that you get penny stocking framework, even if you are just kind of on the sidelines, kind of getting a feel for his entries and exits, um, you'll cover a good portion of the cost with the, the framework. But after that, you're going to be paying almost $2,000 a year unless you're a Tim Sykes challenge student where you get a discount. Now, my personal experience, uh, I don't really have much to say because I entered in, like I said at the beginning of the video, I entered in August of last year. But to be honest, I haven't really taken many of the plays that Mark has taken. And the reason being is that I'd find myself taking trades that he'd take, but they'd end up being losers. So then it would kind of mess with my mindset so that when he did have like a big successful trade, I either wouldn't have sized in properly or I'd exit too early. So I wouldn't be able to bank on those. And also what I noticed is that my style as a trader wasn't really built for some of the, the entries that he'd take, like the way he trade breakdowns and breakouts. And it'd make me apprehensive to really take the entry. And sometimes if that a trading style isn't for you, you really shouldn't force it because it's really going to mess with your execution. You're going to probably be more stressed out than you need to be. And for that, I have been really holding back on a lot of the trades recently. That being said, there's plenty of successful students. I remember when the market was really hot, there was so many people in the Tim Sykes chat room who were making lots of money. There's still people who I uh, seen in the chat like recently we had a, we did have a play this week after a little bit of a dry period and people were banking on that. But there's also keep in mind there's also people who have lost money because um they might have sized in too big or they might have sized in too big on a trade that Mark was taking that turned out to be a loser. And that goes back to like sometimes taking those losses and it really messing with my mindset to stop me from trading the, the winners properly. Now Mark is transparent. So on the Evolve, on the Evolve Trader website, when you log in, you have access to his full options trading history and his success rate. So right now he has a success rate of 57%. And that's just something that you need to keep in mind when you're deciding whether you want to join this service or not. And that's up to you if you think that that type of winning percentage is something that you could benefit from. I can't really tell you that um, because like I said, people have different strategies. Some people have different strategies where they have higher win rates, but then they have but because of that, when they do have a loser, it ends up being um, a lot higher. And then some people have a lot lower win rates, but their winners are so big that the losers, um, even with multiple losers, it's not enough to put them in the red zone. Another reason that my experience was not necessarily a positive one, it wasn't really a bad one. It was just kind of, I'm kind of in the middle, um, is that 
I was really desperate at the time that I hopped in. I was just turning the ball on my profitability. I was just finding consistency, staying in the green. So I was really desperate. And I, if you're watching this video and you're getting into trading, you might be in a situation too where your finances are tight and you're looking for a way to make money. And I was like, I'm like, damn, like I, I was just seeing people in the chat room. Like, like I said, it was a hot market and they were, they were really banking. Mark was banking, killing plays. And I'm like, I really wanted to, to just uh, boost my profits. So I was kind of desperate and it was, and then when you're really emotional, you're desperate, you're in a bad situation, you're just going to throw your money, every, anything and everything that you think is going to help you make that quick buck. And that was my mistake at the time. Um, I mean, it did, it did really push me forward into the options trading that I'm doing today, which is different than what Mark does. I, I day trade, I day trade options. Mark, Mark is not really more of a, not Mark is not really a consistent day trader when it comes to options. Like I said, it's a very periodic thing. I found a strategy that, that is almost daily and it's very different, but it gave me confidence to really start trading options. So for that, I'm, I'm thankful. But yeah, in terms of just the, the service overall, I don't think I'm going to be uh, renewing my subscription. Maybe down the road, like when I have when I have more capital and more capital on the side to blow, I'll probably jump in again. But for now, I just kind of want to focus on what I'm doing with my strategy and with uh, staying since I'm not even a year in on the the Tim Sykes challenge. Like that's another thing. Like I shouldn't I should have waited till I was at least at the uh, full year mark with the Tim challenge before considering taking Evolve Trader. I hope this video helps you. Um, I do have a massive amount of respect for, for Mark. I learned a lot from his videos in the Tim Sykes challenge. So I just wanted to give my honest thoughts on the Evolve Trader alert service. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll reply to all the comments. And just let me know how you're if you're trading options right now, if you're thinking of trading options and how it's going for you. Thank you for watching. Be back soon. I've been on the road with since sideways. Like when then we go, I'ma get in my way. Fuck it, I've been on, got no time to die today. I ain't